bring together employers and the government and stakeholders to discuss an issue that is a challenge to the whole of Africa, that of the bulging numbers of our young population and the role that employers and the private sector as a whole can play together with government in addressing the issue. And tonight we have the ministry that is charged uh, with this, the Ministry of Labor, and we also have the Ministry of Industrialization with whom we are working very closely uh, to pull off this event. It's a first ever event the first African Employers Summit, it will bring together employers from the whole continent. Because the Federation of Kenya Employers, as our chair earlier said, is also greatly honored to host Business Africa, which is the equivalent of Business Europe. It's the platform that brings together employers in our continent. Endowed with highly uh, skilled and sought after pool of human resources at the vibrant and resilient, resilient private sector, which has withstood some of the toughest times uh, an economy uh, can ever encounter. It is therefore not desirable that we as a country continue to face uh, several developmental challenges, such as lack of inclusive uh, growth, unemployment, food insecurity, among many others, ills given the pool of resources that we have. As FKE, we believe that with proper and inclusive governance, Kenya should be out of the woods in the shortest possible time. Inclusive uh, growth is crucial, not only for a fairer society, but a stronger economy. Income gaps, gaps between the rich and the poor we know have widened, and these inequalities undermine economic growth and strain the relationship between uh, the, govern, uh, the government and the citizens. So thank you, FKE, for the skill and the, that exposure. But I want to say also, Federation of Kenya Employers is a very important organization because it represents employers. And I think the idea of tripartite discussions between the union, the Ministry of Labor, and Federation of Kenya Employers is very important if we are going to make strides in the direction we want. If we are going to maintain industrial harmony which sometimes is affecting reproduction, uh, you know, um, production, is crippling companies, and even the trade union movement is moving to areas which are very key to the growth of the economy of this country. So that is something which is very dear to me, because as employers, you do not wish to see employees go on strike and your production is affected and the growth of the economy is affected. Today, the unemployment rate in Kenya stands at about 40%. Of those, 70% are between the ages of 18 to 35 years. With more and more youth completing universities and colleges every year, and joining the labor market, the unemployment situation can only get worse, leading to other social problems of crime and drug abuse, among others. Simply stated, no country can remain stable and prosperous without investing in its youth. The government, noting the urgent need to tackle unemployment as it threatens social cohesion, political stability, and economic growth has come up with policies geared, geared towards creating opportunities for the youth and other vulnerable groups in our society, which include the establishment of special funds to facilitate business startups and reservation of the 30% public procurement for the youth and other uh, marginalized, marginalized groups. This evening is very simple. I'm here on, uh, to represent my cabinet secretary, uh, Mrs. Phyllis Candier who could not be able to join us. Um, she was really looking forward to be here because this was going to be her first event with FKE. Uh, so, however, um, she just wants to pass on the message that she's uh, truly um, united with FKE. And uh, of course, we look forward to our continuous engagements uh, in fronting the issues of our workers in this country. Um, Jacqueline uh, told me when I came in that uh, she's uh, very excited that I'm supporting her. 
And I told her I am actually quoting the employers because uh, when I wear now my hat as the PS Social Security, uh, there's an issue that is very dear to us and that I have promised one of the sectors within our ministry, the persons with disability, that I will try very much to work very closely with the employers so that we can have a greater inclusivity for persons with disability in the private sector. So, um, this is the message from Sarikioko Mailu, EBS. Congratulations on your appointment to the cabinet, 2nd March 2016. And you want to explain that these are charging warrants, and it represents the energy that Dr. Mailu has. May you charge into this role and conquer. signal of strength and power and courage. Yes, uh, yes, we are confident that you are a warrior and thank you